Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 11, I believe, of Let's Play Triangle Strategy. And I hope you guys are well and ready to check out more Triangle with me. I call it Triangle. You can call it Square or Rhombus or whatever you'd like. <laughs> Just, um... Yeah, so welcome back. We're going to get into this today. Chapter 4, A New Dawn, has dawned on us. It's a new chapter. And we're going to start... Uh, we're actually encamped right now. So let's see. Do we want to... Do the Combating Mages quest and get some iron? That depends on if iron would help anybody. Let's see... It would not seem to help anybody at the moment. But, um... Yeah, we do have kudos points to spend. We may spend those. Did I want to get this restore? For, this, hmm. For 100, we can get quietest point plus one. Activates the moment you trade for it. Yeah, let's maybe go for that first, and then we'll do the rest there. Okay, let's uh, leave. And we're headed to the mines, guys. So this is exciting because a lot has happened in this last bit of story. So House Wolfort pays a visit to the Grand Norzellian Mines where they are reunited with Dragan. Let's head there and see what happens. Here we are in the mines tunnel. How will Gusadolf respond to my offer? I should think there's but one logical answer. And should he refuse for some reason, I will need father's aid. I must apprise him of the situation. Who's his father again? Um Oh, Esfrost. So Svarog, right. We don't know much about Svarog thus far. Lord Dragan, Prince Roland is here from the Crown City. Uh-oh. What's this? I hit my water bottle, guys. Bear with me here. Prince Roland and my friends of House Wolfort. To what do I owe the honor? Apologies for the sudden nature of our visit, Dragan. I have come on Father's orders to offer our sincere gratitude as well as to observe the mining operation. Splendid! The miners will no doubt be heartened by your highness's presence. Does the mining continue apace? Indeed it does. There are no problems to report. And what of your trip abroad, Lord Saranoa? It was most enlightening indeed. Mm -hmm. We even brought something for you. I do hope it's to your liking. Portrait of the goddess herself, drawn with... Is this dyed salt? <laughs> it is. I understand they are used as talismans in High's End. Huh. This gift would fetch unfathomable value in the duchy. I... I cannot thank you enough. It is enough to see you happy. Oh. I am glad our deliberations were not in vain. Dragan, I believe it was you who said the future is in the hands of the ardent youth. Huh. We are of like mind. Let us shape the future together. Uh-oh. He's... Indeed. That future is close at hand. I suspect we will reach across the border and ask for your cooperation in due course. And I shall gladly assent. Yes, we eagerly await your offer. Now then, I was thinking I might examine the quarry. Wait, your highness! One of the tunnels caved in but a few days ago. I would advise against entering just now. Did you not assure us moments ago that the mining continues apace? The miners are working to repair the damage as we speak. It is simply too soon to allow you inside. Was it caused by a blast? It was, in fact. 
We were perhaps a bit overzealous in attempting to remove some of the bedrock. I had no idea your explosives were so powerful. How do you make them anyway? I would love to tell you, your highness, but I'm afraid we must keep some of our secrets. Huh. What I can say is that salt Shh. is a vital ingredient. Oh. Surely you jest. I thought you'd be surprised. I could scarcely believe it myself at first. A gargantuan tome in the archives opened my eyes to the many uses for salt, beyond seasoning our daily dishes. Huh. And now I pass what I've learned to you, Lord Zeranoa, as a token of my gratitude for your visit. Oh. Cool. The power of salt. Tis a compendium of my research on the uses of salt. I encourage you to peruse it at your leisure. Oh, that sounds cool, actually. I most certainly shall. Tis a most valuable gift. Fascinating indeed. I too would like to read it when you're through, my lord. Indeed. I look forward to hearing your impressions. At any rate, I see the sun hangs low. Shall we save a tour of the mine for the morrow? Yes, perhaps that would be best. Yes, of course. I shall prepare entertainment and lodgings for your party at once. Huh. Added the power of salt to notes. The mines appear to be operating apace. Perhaps I'll survey the operation more closely until my bedding is ready. Gila. Asfrost is hard at work building a rail car that will transport the ore we take from the mines. Can you imagine how much more efficient that will make the process? Indeed. Glenbrook subject. I've come to deliver lunch to my husband and his fellow miners. They eat like horses, and yet I still manage to make too much. Glenbrook soldier. I never expected Prince Roland and the Lord of House Wolfhard himself would grace us with their presence. Tis truly an honor. I thank you for making the journey. As Frosty Miner, Lord Dragon's father, Minister Svarag, is a capable man as the is as capable a man as the Archduke himself. By all rights, he should be the nation's prime minister, and yet he's performing glorified border duty in the middle of nowhere. I can't imagine he's happy about it. Svarag, that's Frederica's uncle. Oh, that's interesting. If Minister Svarog is indeed as capable as this miner would have me believe, how did he end up steward of Twinsgate? You learned of Svarog as Frost? And you know, one thing I realized just now, guys, obtain large HP recovery pellet, is when you get new information like that, you should free, you should talk to certain NPCs again. Like for that last information we got in a previous episode when we were exploring about Sorsley's responsibilities we probably should have followed up on that more rather than uh, you know I don't think we did and probably could have learned more Svarag Esfra sorry that I'm a little stuffed up right now by the way the previous Archduke's younger brother previous Archduke previous Svarag is a man capable enough to be the nation's prime minister, but after losing to his nephew Gustadolf in a power struggle, he was ordered to the duchy's border to oversee its defense. Nothing more than a symbolic sinecure. Glenbrook Minor. We'll be sending the iron we mine here to the consortium. They'll want to account for it all, as they do with salt and all else. The mine here is under the jurisdiction of, uh, Claris. Never meant a thing he couldn't sell that one. I was right to come with you. I do believe we succeeded in lowering Dragan's guard. It gladdens me to see a healthy contingent of miners from the duchy alongside your brethren from Glenbrook. Let 
Summer Miner. Must have been a hard journey to get here. The roads to the mine are ex aren't exactly well worn. Watch your step as you return home, my lord. That's interesting because... I wonder if they're trying to make us... To hurt us in some way. Added mining schedule to notes. Anna... I understand a few fights broke out between the miners of Esfrost and Glenbrook at first, but such is bound to happen when two nations come together. Thankfully, they've learned to communicate, and now everything is progressing apace. Obtain stone? Wow, that's a really good find. Glenbrook Miner, I've been teaching the others what I gleaned from all that reading I did in the archives. We'll master the Esfrosty techniques, my lord. There's no shortage of practice down here in the mines. It's hard labor, mining. I'll tell you, I don't see a man here I wouldn't want for my own army if it came to it. Obtain 450 gold. Oh. Oh wow, we can get their profile from that log screen. If we wanted to. Interesting. We're paid for the iron we mine, so I had better break off a big chunk of ore, or better yet, find a rich vein. Um, we'll talk to Trigan last. The mine itself is larger than I imagined. I believe my hawk could fly cleanly through its tunnels. That may be necessary, Hewitt. As Frosty Soldier, only miners pass this point, sir. We're clearing rubble from a collapsed tunnel. The rest of it may be unstable as a result. We cannot risk letting anyone through. Oh, surely you lie, sir. You lie. Vanguard scarf. Ooh, an accessory. Nice. Let's take a look at some of this. The Vanguard Scarf does guarantees first action at the start of battle. Interesting. Who do we want acting first? Anna? Roland. Frederica. Sheila. Huet. Irador. Corinthian. Zergoa. Benedict would be best because he could start and cast his uh, abilities, mighty power, mighty defense on somebody, but we haven't been using him in our top six. So honestly, even though Anna's speed is already at 28, I think I'll give it to her. Although Benedict, it makes the most sense. We should probably level up everybody as we go because we'll give it to Benedict. He's a very powerful member of the Vanguard, but yeah, we'll, we'll level up everybody so in case we have any like battles where we have to use somebody, everybody will be prepared for that. Which is good. Good to have. And, uh, Yeah, we'll just use Benedict more. Anything back here? We we'll talked to Anna. Um, let's we'll talk to. Wait, yeah, Dragan. Uh, the future is what we make of it, Lord Saranoa. May the partnership with your house prove long and fruitful. As I see it, the mines are merely the beginning. We have much work to do, and I pray I can count on your assistance going forward. Benedict. Despite the explosives collapsing, one of the tunnels, mining appears to be on schedule. Running a mine, let alone one owned by three nations, is no easy task. The lack of unrest is a credit to Lord Dragan's leadership. 
To that end, indulge me with a hypothetical. Suppose you led this operation and an incident occurred. How would you respond? Seeing as it's a joint accord, I would resolve the matter peaceably with Hyzant and Ezfrost's involvement. I would hear of the problems firsthand from the miners themselves, issuing orders blindly from above leads to chaos. I would order an investigation into the cause and find the party or parties responsible. There must be no cause for bad blood between our nations. If I were in charge, I wouldn't really see disciplining and stuff as a joint accord. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think I would see it as a joint accord, resolve the matter peaceably with Hyzant and Ezfrost's involvement. Strengthened our convictions. Indeed, we could not be the only ones to bear the brunt of any troubles, but the Crown and other nations will seek to share their burdens too. There is merit in these hypotheticals, Saranoa. They ensure we are prepared when we find ourselves in times of crisis, and allow us to get oh, and allow us to get ahead of any problems that may harm the venture. I should consult my father about this as well. We have every reason to maintain a strong partnership with Lord Dragand. Um, anything down in there? Oh, I switched up the... Yango. I think we've got everything here. Just to be sure, though down here come down in here yeah cool all right so I guess we call it a night you learned all you can about Svarog as frost now if we talk to anyone else I'm just curious, will that trigger something? It could, I've seen it happen before. But it looks like that's it. I'll just be super extra sure. So I guess we're concluding it. Should have saved. Everything appears in order, as I expected. Perhaps my bedding is ready by now. Oh boy. Sarah Noah and the others speak of their hopes for Nerzelia's future when a sudden, ur sudden urgent matter is brought to Dragan's attention. Are there any green side quests anywhere? No. So... Save. Let's get into it. So red, that's Ezfrost. Yeah, that's Ezfrost. We'll see how many units we get to choose and stuff. We're in the tunnel still. No word from below, you say? They haven't tried to flee, have they? No, sir. I've not seen a single soul emerge from the mine. Huh. Very well, then. I shall make contact with them myself. Ah! Was that? It came from within. Huh. What is the meaning of this? Oh. As Frosty 
soldiers. Why are they at the mines? No. Did he see through my plot? Clear the mine. Leave no survivors. Trust soldier. So this is how they respond. Those dogs. Huh. We're fighting with Dragan, I guess. Okay, we can recommend a level five. We cannot allow Dragan to fall. We must decimate the enemy forces. Huh. Oh my gosh. Everybody's deployed. Dragan's only level five himself. Uh. Alright, let's put Gila. Right there. Up here we've got a blade and a shield bearer. And also go from this direction. There. Put her hawk ship right there. And actually, bring Frederica. Oops. Frederica, right there with Cor Corentin. Here we have his Frosty Blades, Bowman, a healer. Level seven, a Bowman from way up high. Deal with him, I guess, Hawkett, maybe can reach him. Good, although we might want Corentin over here, honestly. something like that all right let's give it a shot we're not really level five we have to defend again and then defeat all enemies, or what? Protect Lord Dragan! Okay, in action bonus. If you end your turn without moving or using a command, the time until your next turn will be reduced by the following amounts. If we don't move, 10%. No commands used, 10%. And if we don't move or use any command, 20%. Let us pry out their weakness. Benedict. Going first, I want him to do a raging beast on Frederica. It is time to strike. Delightful. For the he future up. of House Wolford. His turn will come around ten percent faster. <laughs> oh, you can. Your orders. Okay, here we have Anna. Let's see. Let's head up here. Iron dagger to 
the side. Allow me. And I'm starting to get the hang of the controls a little bit more. Ha. Um. My turn. Roll it. Just get up there. He could be shot though by that bowman. It's a fight you want. Okay, good. He's running back. Here goes Huet. Can't reach anybody there. Can't reach anybody there. Or there. Okay, she'll get her turn 20% faster if I just end her turn. Useful. From where shall we strike? Saranoa. Um. Benedict down there is a little troublesome. Uh. That's a little troublesome. Come at me, bro. Whoops. Um, Kai Shields. Boom. Cool heads shall prevail. Gila. Come here and cure wounds on Trigan. Should have moved her, she would have got a 10% bonus, but speed. Oh dear. Oof. Allow me. Frederica. Move up one space. It's a scorch. So it falls to me. Quarantine. Would you come here in icy breath? No. Huh. All right. He's just gonna spend his turn then and wait. Healer going down that way. Oh, going after oh. Anna. Oh man. Lucky a triple link or whatever did it pop off there. Let us pry out their weakness. Benedict. Tactician, but can come here. Raging Beast on Huet, honestly. All for victory. This is wonderful. Where are they going? Here I come. All right, Huet. No one in range. Wow. Surprise, no one's in range. All right, go over there for now and help them. To come back here, does even more damage. Yeah. Oh, this battle critical. is won. Oh, she's called that early. Anna, you were prepared for this? Okay, let's come here. Let's use an HP recovery pellet. I'll take Her this. double action is so powerful. Because then she can just do, you know, something like this. Yeah. Boom. You 
wide open. Boom. Got him. My turn. Roland. I don't want to be willy nilly here. Um, probably come right here and do a double thrust of this frosty battle mage. That healer's gonna heal her, but. This will, this will bother them. Okay, coming this way. Mighty strike. Oh. Yeah, mighty strike. What would father do? He'd probably heal. Depends when Gila's turn is. Gila's slow. She's not even in the picture. Um, maybe move up here. Use an HP recovery pellet. I need this to lead. I must Leveled grow. up. Healer, yeah. Use some of her magic and stuff. Mighty Strike and Benedict, he can take it. And he runs Christmas. off. What's going on? What happened there? Oh, that Where was Dragon. Was dragon. Nothing bad. Um. Frosty Fetters. On oh, that one. I do not miss. Ooh. Silence. Oh, I could have just did a scorch or whatever, an ice breath instead, and save some uh, AP there or whatever. Moment, nothing. That's not going to help you Stop. against Aerodor, buddy. Be. Ah, I can't reach rolling. Perfect. Oh. Ugh. That hurt. Come at me! Irador. Can't get into the battle, unfortunately. We need Anna. I shall do what I can. Gila. Can't get up there to heal Roland. Can she? No. So where would she be best? Over here, even? Sheila. Um. Ah, she's got to stay out of harm's way. But also be in a place to effectively heal. Um. They're all going to attack her. Allow me. I don't know if that's too, too bright, but we'll see. Scorch, that would really take him down. With the powers in me. 86 XP. Stay put. Yeah. I Sarah on. Okay, good. Sarah Noah. Impossible. Let us pry out their weakness. Benedict. One 
do the most damage from behind. Two damage even. You can cast Bulwark on somebody. Cast Bulwark on Hewitt. Stay composed. <laughs> the Rhino. Nice, only nine damage. And uh, oh, she can get up there. That's perfect. Oh, she can't throw poison though. She can come up here. Uh, might as well use it now so she gets two attacks next time. I'll take this. I'm using a lot of those, but that's okay. Sheer goal. Roland. Roland, Roland. Um, nowhere is safe for young Roland. Um, let's see. Okay, who's next? Corentin. Oh, we can go go through battle this way. Nice. Saranoa, and then a blade, and a healer, then a blade. Battle Mage. So, Young Roland, uh, honestly, just use a I'd love to do something, but just use an HP recovery pellet. I'll try this. And then get 10% speed bonus towards your next turn. Here I come. You at Wonder if she can fly up here and yes, take that one out. Utilize the high ground. No longer silenced. I no! For the Sheila. honor of House Wolfort. Oh, change of plans. He's got to go after the healer. No, he's pretty ripped up himself. Um, come here and take out the long sword or the uh, blade. Perish. No, Gila's lost. Eludes me. But it's not permanent, though, right? Ugh! Oof. If it's a fight you want. Again. <laughs> so it falls to me. Oh boy, Corinthian. Oh, they can silence. If only we could get... No, it's not gonna... Get over to that battle mate, or to that healer there, or whatever, battle mage. Then, uh... Let's just stay here, and... Oh yeah, better yet, let's come over here, and... D8, 46, okay, we'll do 46. Thing with the 46 HP. Blows. 100 XP. The are in. Wall of Ice. Excellent. Nasty. Oh, Frederica gets a mighty strike. Ouch. This can't be. Oh, Iridor getting taken out. Okay, good. Frederica. Work this way. Fire resist. No, just. 
Wait, when's that one acting? Benedict moment. Oh man, they have a lot of turns next. Okay, so this guy doesn't go for a long time. So bring Rodrigo here. No, here. And uh, HP recovery pellet, I guess. Just be safe. For myself. We will make our ideals reality. Level five. I'll show you what I'm made of. Kite shield. Boom. I guess if he go looks forward, then he can't get a back attack. I shall try my level best. Interesting maneuver, I think. Um. Let's see, she's no longer empowered. Huet is though. Actually, come here and we'll work. Granted, let us steal our defenses. This shall it's be a, a boon. It's a tough one. Gonna throw oh. it. It's down again. Rollins going oh. down. It's not fall damage. Oh, that was pretty slick on now. their part. Roll it. Uh, man, we haven't even started to fight those guys. Who's next? Anna? You at? We might not win this battle, guys. Alright, roll it. Uh... Rush through. End up down there. Brace yourself. Yes. For my kingdom. Oh, leveled up. He was only level. Okay, level four. Time to work. Anna. Oh, she can't reach. Can we even come down and throw poison at him? No. Poison. This'll hurt. Throw poison. Suffer. <laughs> Suffer. I won't give in. You at uh see once we get our guys over here we should be baby okay. How about a blinding? 72% blindness. Uh, let's see who's next and stuff. Corentin. Battle Mage. Blade. Blade. Oh, boy. Alright, so right now it's Huet. If I go there, do a short bow. Corinthian can take him out. Alright, let's come here. Do a short bow. Hundred XP. Learn fell swoop. Favor us. From where shall we strike? Saranoa. Four percent chance to hit. Perish. Got him. Comes a healer. Does it's not a heal. Drink in. Pulling a big move, taking out a now much needed enemy, work. which frees up Corentin to actually come out here and oh, she can't do anything. 
safe place right there. Here comes the battle mage. He doesn't can't do anything. Stay alive. Oh good, I gave her an HP recovery pellet. Oh no. Okay. This rate I Can she scorch? She might be able to. Yep. Boom, these two right here. Perfect. Wait, can he reach her though there? Let's actually come here. Frederica with the big maneuver. I see a path to victory. <laughs> I do too, Benedict. Uh wonder if his cane sword could take one of them out. Not really. Who's next? Bowman. Bowman. Iridor. Iridor can come and take that one out. Okay, so let's have Benedict move up here. Oh, if he could reach there. Oh, he can. He can't bulwark, uh... Hobie. Wait, can he reach there to give an item to? Can he toss an item or something? All right, bulwark, roll of it. Let us feel our defenses. He's come through big. Benedict has. I shall do my best. Attack Anna! Attack Anna! Perfect. <sighs> Might have to save here, guys. I know we're. Well into things here. Ha, that tickled. Um, let's bring up the system. Let's just save first. Wait, suspend. Create quick save and return to the title screen. Because we are 47 minutes in, so I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm going to suspend. Hope you guys enjoyed. What a battle! Great battle super intricate and super cool very suspenseful very good layout and everything really fun so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching me appreciate you all very much if you did enjoy please consider dropping a like with a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you think subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell but only do any or all of those things if you really want to don't take any pressure from me nothing like that do whatever you want, guys. It's all good. I do hope to see you guys next time. Much more fun to be had here for show. I'm going to suspend, create quick save data. Until next time, guys, and the conclusion of this battle, uh, be well, live well, stay well. And much love, peace, and joy. We'll get this on next time. So cool. So see you guys then. Bye-bye for now.